All right, hello, and welcome. Oh, shoot, hold on. Oh, wrong option, damn it. To the Minish Cap. As you can tell, I literally just finished my Game Boy video. Yeah. All right. File I made during that Game Boy video. Let's get started. Yeah, released on the Game Boy Advance in 2005. Easily my favorite portable handheld Zelda. Well, unless you count Breath of the Wild, but you know, while the Switch does double as a portable device, it's meant as a console, so. Of course, the story here. I mean, I remember thinking, what? Are we talking about Ocarina of Time? But no. This actually takes place before Ocarina of Time, so it is. I mean, at the time when this came out, this was the earliest game in the timeline. Which, you know, led to many of fan theories at the time, some of which were interesting, as always. Some of them were downright annoying, like the idea that this was the first Zelda game because it showed the origins of Link's hat. I used to hate that one and was so glad when six years later when they came out with Skyward Sword, a game that prequels this in the story and Link has his hat from the beginning. Forever ending that silly theory. I mean again, there are a lot of good Zelda theories out there, Zeltek. Uh Bandit games, formerly known as Mass Nintendo Bandit, and a lot of others. A lot of good Zelda related game theories out there, but in some of those series. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, I'll probably try to sleep. Uh, Festival. Or, sorry, I don't have the accent. Jack Nicholson as Joker in Batman 1989. Well, you didn't think she was here to see you, did you? Uh-huh, I knew it. Still trying to sleep in. I don't want to get up. Leave me alone. There I am, trying to sleep in. Before some heartless cad wakes me up, whether it's Navi, my sister, and Wind Waker, or my, I think it's my grandfather in this game. Or Zelda, Zelda's Telepathy in A Link to the Past, the game that started that idea of introducing Link trying to sleep. Oh shoot, this is an older file. When I still did that capital letter, lowercase, capital letter, lowercase, nod to the 80s hard rock heavy metal band, the Killer Dwarfs, all they spell out their logo. Oh well. <coughs> sure, let's go. Let's go have some fun. I guess. What? Okay. Sure. Smith's sword. Oops, I already lost it. Sorry. Oh, they got a sword competition going on, eh? Yeah. 
which obviously means these aren't this isn't the Link and Zelda from Ocarina of Time. It's not only does this game take place before it, but even you know even in the days before Hyrule Historia, some fans try to you know have like the single Link theory where it's always the same Link character in every Zelda game. Yeah, trying to work that in with this game where in Ocarina of Time, Link and Zelda are clearly meeting for the first time. And, here, right from the beginning, their childhood friends, like, well, of course, in Skyward Sword, they're both teenagers, but they've apparently known each other for a long time. So. Sure. Alright. 20 bucks. Cool. Any money in these? I'm breaking our jars. Haha. <laughs> Video game designer humor. You got one dollar. One rupee. Don't spend it all in one place. What can you buy in this game for one rupee or less? How can you not spend it all in one place? Haha. <laughs> Very funny game. Okay. Hello. Okay, let's go. Well, you keep stopping. The town of Hyrule, huh? Huh. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. All right. Actually, before I go any further, I should have done this earlier, but I gotta check the audio settings on the video. I'll be right back. Alright, sounding good so far. Sorry, I had to check just to make sure it was sounding good in the finished video before I upload it. Sure, let's look around. Of course, you don't have to talk to anybody, just follow Zelda and talk to her at certain intervals, but what the heck, let's talk to everybody. Since you probably normally do that on a first playthrough anyways, I mean, this is far from my first playthrough of this game, but... Oh yeah? Why well, only one at... What? Well, of course, what a convenience, or what a coincidence, rather. How convenient. This just happens to be that, yeah. Okay, what's... Oh, you got it. Ringing the bell. Okay, what... Oh, a minigame. Okay, how do you play this? Dude! What? I want to play your... Okay, how? What? No, oh, you're not even going to let me play this game, are you? Fine. Oh, hello, Zelda. Oh, well, where are you going? I thought you wanted to stop and... Looks like somebody's got attention issues. Oh, yeah? What does that have to do? What are they trying to build these pic Picori or Picori a Santa Claus or something? Be good for goodness sake. What? What? Okay, I can see why the other kid there calls this a fairy tale. This is starting to sound more and more contrived with each passing word.
Oh, please. Really? Dude, you just lost all credibility with your story. Again, no wonder why. No wonder why. Yeah. Well, it was until I heard that cockamamie story up there just now. Oh, yeah? How? Never mind, forget I asked that. Leave a question like that too open for some people and may add perverse theories to it. Never mind, forget it. I heard about that from my uncle or grandfather or whatever. Mysterious man dressed in black. Ganondorf? No, it could No. Again, keeping in mind this is happening sometime before Ocarina of Time. I'd imagine at this point Ganondorf hasn't even been born yet. At least, according to the latest rendition of the uh, Zelda timeline, as in the Zelda Encyclopedia and several Nintendo-sanctioned websites. Of course, they have a tendency to change that every so often. I mean, like in 2011 when they first published Hyrule Historia, the Fallen Hero timeline was Link's Awakening. The two Oracle games, and then, or rather, Link to the Past, rather. The two Oracle games... With the combined ending continuing over into Link's Awakening. But when they came out the Zelda Encyclopedia, Link's Awakening and the two Oracle games order was flip-flopped for some unknown, unexplained reason. So, yeah. So, you know, like I said in my, I think it was in the Game Boy video about Castlevania, how Circle of the Moon is no longer considered canon just proof of how they can change what is or isn't canon or what order they appear in whenever they want to give no little explanation as to why they're doing so I mean yeah legally it is there you know they created it in the first place so it is theirs to do with what they want to I get that part but for fans it's annoying because you know you get used to one setting and then they go up and change it so and personally I think it made more sense to have Link's Awakening after the combined ending of the Oracle games anyways but anyway, yeah, that's just... Fresh fruit, huh? What did he say? I was too busy talking about the timeline. Oh, yeah. Vegetables! Ha! Ah, you don't say that word to a kid. At least, well, I don't know. Not every kid. I imagine everybody's different, but still. Most kids, you know, you get that kid logic. You'd rather have candy bars and ice cream, you know, sweets. Vegetables, ah, health food, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it sounds like it. I'm with you, dude. This whole pickery business sounds contrived. I agree with you. Don't know. Good question, though. Oh, hi, Zelda. How are you? Oh, did he now? There she goes again. Yes, I know. I heard. Oh, now they have their own little world? Man, this story gets just gets more and more contrived with each telling. Like a lot of old legends in real life, you know, they change a little with each retelling, or so goes the old saying. Oh, so now there's some kind of space aliens or something, huh? Hmm. 
Hmm. Me neither. Oh, yeah? You must be one of the very few from the sound of it. What did he look like? Oh, yeah? How small? Ooh. I don't know about size, but for standing inside of someone's shoe, it must be awful small, and the smell must have been something fierce. Ooh. Foot odor. Ugh. Ugh. Poor thing. Hopefully it had a gas mask. Songwriter, eh? Or poet. Eh, I guess. Hello again, Zelda. Yeah, it's already over from what I heard. Don't know, some guy in black. There she goes again. Anyways, yeah, just follow Zelda around as she goes you know, clockwise around the area. That's all you have to do. Talking to anyone else is completely optional. Wait a minute. How did she win so quickly? You wouldn't even let me play this minigame. Personally, I think this guy recognized... Oh, it's a princess. You win. Yeah, rigged game. He wouldn't even let me play this thing, whatever... Report you to the gaming commission, Buster. Oh, a heart container. Cool. Large rupee. Okay. And a large shield. Teeny tiny. That thing is almost as big as I am. What are you talking about tiny? I mean, look at the size of that thing in contrast to Link. Dude, if you think so lowly of the shield, why do you even have it on display? I mean, seriously. Well, you're kind of strange yourself. I'm not just talking your hair, dude. I mean, seriously. If you think so lowly of the shield, why do you even have it on display as a contest prize? And again, what are you talking about tiny? Look at that, it's as big as my head at least. Okay, did that thing just shrink? I mean, I get it, it's supposed to be some kind of size perspective angle, but still, looks like that thing just shrunk. Yep, might as well get going. Now the people that were standing here blocking our path are gone, so we can move forward. Well, they're not gone, they just moved up here, but... Oh! Get this poor kid some Kleenex. Of course, this kid first appeared in Wind Waker. I mean, probably not the same kid, but... Given the time span between the two games and the fact that Wind Waker is in one of the alternate timeline branch-offs... Maybe if you did something with your sinus issues there, mucus boy. Size of a thumb? Eh, 
could be, but given certain graphic retrospectives we'll be seeing as we play through the game, I'd say they're even smaller than that, more like a thumbnail or fingernail. But, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry. <coughs> of course, we'll be seeing these two again much later in the game. But for now, let's just move on. Why can't you do something about it? Why does it always have to be me? Ooh, sucks to be them. Just trying to talk to someone. Hi! Ow! Yeah. Yeah, I imagine. Get some duct tape. Psh, there, now you can't spit nuts at me. Boom! Yeah. Oh, there's never going to be anything here. Yeah, right. Obvious secret spot, if there ever was one. Yeah. Yep, I got it. Pasto? Pato? Poto? Guessing Apostle. Sounds kind of ancient Egypt inspired, but okay. Sure. Oh, do I have to? Ceremonies can be so boring, especially for a kid. Or at least for this kid, when I was a kid. Yeah. <sighs> oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. What? 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 Yeah. More of your silly tales, huh? Oh, gee, such an honor touching some sword. Wow. Well, it obviously must work for these people. I mean, they have this tournament every year, so... Apparently for them, it is a big deal. Body? Why have I heard that name? Oh, yeah, of course. This game is actually a prequel to the two Four Swords games that came out previously. The first one on the Game Boy Advance, I mentioned it in my Game Boy video. Came out with the remaster of... Link to the Past, the second one, Game Boy, or Four Swords Adventures on GameCube, this game being a prequel to both of them, showing the origins of the Vadi character and of the Four Sword itself. Wow, he's strong.
Well, he broke it. Well, it could have been that good a sword if it breaks that easily. Like some of, like, like a lot of the weapons in Breath of the Wild. I mean, I love that game, don't get me wrong, but the breakable weapon idea sucks. Uh-oh. I don't like the sound of that. Or the look of this. Oh, no. Here we go again. Yep. Zelda needs to be rescued again. Plot twist I would have never seen coming in a Zelda game. Not in a million. Yeah, right. Apparently, the Force, cut it out, you're not Darth Vader. The Force, ha ha ha. No, I'm not. I'm sleepwalking. Leave me alone. Oh, goody. Well, either that or you got some very good sculptors in this country. Very realistic statue they carved. Yeah, well, seriously, how good could that sort of been if it broke that easily? Of course, the, in the European version of the game, the dialogue here is slightly different. Something about, you mean those thumb-sized imps from the fairy tales? Why they changed that line for the European version, I don't know, but... Yeah. Of course I know that because YouTuber Alessandri played, did a playthrough of this game several years ago and yeah. Why not? today. Hey! You leave me out of this, Buster! No! You got a whole army, military here. Send them! Actually, we've already been over that. that. Oh, here we go again. I never ever get to just enjoy my childhood. I had to stick you with this sword. When do I ever get to just go out and play like a normal kid? I always got to be the one to save everybody. Yeah, I'm 
map. Not exactly a screen cap image, but well, kind of is. Much more detailed than the maps on the previous Game Boy games. Link's Awakening or Oracle of Ages and Seasons where it's just literally a square grid. Anyway, so I guess we're done here. Actually, hold on. Sword on the A button. Just like in the first Zelda game. Enemies out here now. Okay. They weren't here before. Neither were these guys. What the heck? Hey, wait a minute. I can't even get back into town? I don't know why I can't just climb over these rocks. I mean, they don't look like they're any higher than waist level. Of course, these guys have appeared in a lot of Zelda games, starting with Ocarina of Time. The Oracle games. Construction Zone, what? Yeah, basically they're plot walls. For whatever reason, the developers didn't want you getting back into town right now. Don't know why, it's not like you can really do anything there yet, but okay, fine. Lon Lon Ranch. Okay, so how long has this place been in business? I mean, granted, you know, probably not the same, you know, well, it's probably supposed to be storyline wise, the same Lon Lon Ranch from Ocarina of Time, but. There's a heart piece up there. Not that you can get it yet. Personally, I hate it when they do that. They put some stuff like heart pieces in these games or energy tanks in Metroid games in plain sight, or so it seems, but you, know, you can't get it yet. You know, it's like they're taunting you with it. You want this, don't you? Well, too bad. You can't have it yet. In this case, you can't until you can swim, which I've talked about in many games already. The inconsistency of needing clippers in only the 2D games and not the 3D ones. Yeah. Mentioned that already, so. By the way, bombs will bombs will not open these kind of doors, so don't bother. Even when you get, you know, you're just wasting your bombs. You need a different item to open these. Again, water is the impassable barrier. Ah, Choo-Choo's! Enemy that first appeared in Majora's Mask. I mean, I know there were enemies that looked like Choo-Choo's in the first Zelda game, but those were technically Zoles and Gels. They looked the same, but weren't technically the same enemy in name. Oh, it's Oracle of Seasons. Just need to get my Rod of Seasons. Yeah, no. But that's what this always reminds me of. It's game Boy Advance Game Oracle of Seasons. Who said that? Oh, goody, it's him. Oh, yay. Nope, I can't hear a thing. I'm 
Not listening. First of 44 hard pieces, making 11 containers. Plus one bonus hard container you can unlock much later in the game. But Oh, goody. Here we go. I've mentioned this in other Zelda videos, but yeah. <coughs> what? I'm not here. You don't see me. <coughs> Why? Knowing how annoying you're going to be for the rest of the game? Yes, I do indeed. Oh, please, you were whimpering like a baby. Who are you trying to kid? None of your damn business. Now, if you don't mind, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Yeah, see? Silent protagonist, my butt. He, Link can obviously talk. He's telling this person everything that's been going on so far. So Link can talk when he wants to. Personally, I'm fed up with that whole silent protagonist crap anyway. Gets done way too often in games these days. They need to stop with the silent protagonist crap at this point. I swear, if I play another game with the silent protagonist, I'm going to scream. I mean, the silent protagonist thing was fine in the days, in the old days of video games before voice acting, when every protagonist was silent, except for in dialogue boxes like Link here. I mean, I get the argument, especially for RPG games where, you know, you, you know, with the silent protagonist, you can put your own personality into the role of the protagonist. I kind of get that argument, but still. Ha! Over my dead body, Buster. I don't care. I'm never going to see you again. Goodbye. For what? Who asked you to follow me? Seriously, who asked you to follow me? Goodbye. I don't care, that's your problem. Goodbye. Well, dude, who asked you to follow me in the first place? Hey, no hitchhikers, bud. Yeah. And this is where my anger you know, is. You know, people always ridicule Navi for being so annoying in Ocarina of Time, which she was, don't get me wrong. But at least there was some justification for Navi's existence with Ocarina of Time being the first 3D Zelda game. You know, a whole new control scheme had to be explained somehow, making the leap from 2D to 3D gaming. And Navi was obviously how they saw fit to do so. With Majora's Mask, you know, only a couple of years later. Okay, a lot of people haven't played Ocarina yet, so we'll have the same kind of companion character. But, in a game like this, going back to Aerial View, top-down 2D Zelda, there is no reason, none whatsoever, to have a companion character that follows you through the entire game in a game style like this. Other than developers' obsession with coddling your rump with both hands, figuratively speaking. Bullshit! Again, N Navi in Ocarina of Time is annoying at times, yes. But at least there's justification for her existence. More than can be said for Ezlo being anything more than a one-time only NPC that gives you the key item. That lets you interact with these stumps down here. That's it. They never have to see him again for the rest of the game. So yeah. I mean, I love this game, don't get me wrong, easily my third favorite Zelda game of all time, behind only Breath of the Wild and Ocarina of Time, but, yeah, 
no reason for Ezolo being anything more than a one-time only character. Certainly no need for a companion in this kind of gameplay. And personally, that's why, you know, that's one of the many reasons why I like Breath of the Wild as much as I do. They did away with a lot of this cliched Zelda bullcrap about companion characters and duo worlds. And, you know, things that have gotten cliched and repetitive in Zelda, all done away with for Breath of the Wild. Anyways, enough of my rant. Just suffice to say I am not a fan of Ezlo in this game. this first time you have to watch this cutscene every subsequent time you can double click the button and skip this cutscene damn we're tiny holy crap no not at all Yeah, and they do a lot with the graphics to emphasize that size differential. One of the cool things about this game graphically. Oh, really? <laughs> like I'm supposed to care about you, you unwanted house guest. Who invited you along anyways? Anything bad happened to you yet? How about now? Yet? Ah, uh, dang, I don't get to get rid of you that easily, do I? Ah, uh, crud. Guess I'm stuck with you. Fine, you uninvited house guest. Let's go. Yeah, see what I mean? Fingers or thumb size? No, it looks more like fingernail size. I mean, a common acorn from a tree is like, what, four times bigger than I am. A little twig. Freaking a leaf from a tree is much... Yeah, good God, I'm tiny. More like fingernail size or ant size. Or if you really want to be grotesque, you can always quote, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, 1989. Hey, we're the size of boogers. Yeah. No, you don't say, Ezlo. Gee, you're brilliant. Oh, they really do wear red cone-shaped hats. Okay, I guess those kids weren't too far. Oh, okay. Guess they weren't exaggerating on that one, at least. Of course, I don't know about that standing in the shoe business. I think the smell would have knocked him out. Ugh. Oh. Well, technically, they're not seeing a human now. Link, like all Hylians, are elves. I mean, elves and humans. Watch the Lord of the Rings. Not the same thing. No! You don't say. Gee, thanks for clarifying, Ezelo. I would have never figured that out if you hadn't told me. You mean I can't even rely on you as a translator? Well, good. Why do I even allow you to tag along with me, as well? Yeah, because I have no choice, that's why. Just like all of the other aforementioned companion characters. You're going to play the game. You have to put up with their annoyance. Ezlo, Navi, Tattle, Midna, Fee, 
If you're going to play the game, you have to put up with their horse crap annoyance. Or just don't play the game like I don't play Twilight Princess. Screw you, Midna. Dude, I think anybody that's ever played a Zelda game gets the concept of the replant or the recovery heart. I mean, I suppose, you know, in case this was somebody's first Zelda game, they have to explain stuff like that, I guess. But... <coughs> Anyways little bit of a language barrier here, so... Nope! Elf! Hylian! Not human! Well, they still haven't! How many times do I have to tell you? I'm not a human! Ew! Humans! Well, of course, yeah. Never mind! Festari, yeah, one of many names that ended A R I. Festari, Library, Gentari, Melari, Belari. Every conceivable name that could possibly end in those three letters except for one. Atari! Yeah. I used to think it was because of copyright licensing issues, but yeah, later in the game, every time you stand next to one of those portals, stomps that you can use to shrink or re enlarge it. You can clearly hear Atari 2600 music or whatever, you know, something that sounds really close to it. And I'll be sure to point that out in the next video. But yeah. What? We're going to eat something and that's going to be our language here. Oh well, video game logic is striking again. I mean, personally, if you're going to go with, you know, ridiculous translating devices. How about the 1984 sci-fi cheesy sci-fi movie The Last Starfighter with that earpiece or whatever it was. The language is spoken but instantly translated to yours, whatever. Okay. Whatever, dude. Looks like a radish. You think? Oh, I don't want to eat it. Who knows how long it's been sitting there? How many bugs have crawled on it? It's like the wall meat in Castlevania games. Who knows how long it's been there? Ugh, I don't want to eat it. You eat it. And now we can understand a whole new language. Criminy, if it was that easy to learn a foreign language, I'd be fluent in Japanese right now. Well, it helps that I've shrunk down to your size. Otherwise, if I was my normal height, I probably wouldn't be able to see, you know, well, you probably would if I really focused on the ground, like what ants walking by in the ground, if you're really focused, you can see them when you're sitting down. Anyways, now we, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, now that we've broken the language barrier, so to speak, now we go talk to the elder in the opposite corner of town. You'd think he would have been the one you talked to for the language barrier issue since he's the elder, but... I do now. Okay. Speak for yourself, Ezlo. Seriously, Ezlo. Shut up. Who asked you to speak anyways?
four mystic elements. What is this, a Final Fantasy game? Yep, basically, the power of the elements, fire, water, earth, wind. If I don't, are you going to hunt me down? still say these minish doors remind me of Tom and Jerry cartoon mouse holes. Anyways, first dungeon. No. It's Graceland. No, not really. Yes, he did. Good, you wait here. I'll be sure to sneak out the back door and leave you here. Bye. Ah, dang it. No such luck in getting rid of you, huh? Ah, crapola. Anyways, that's it for this first video. I want to, like most of my Zelda playthroughs, I want to try to keep the dungeons separate on separate videos. So, yeah. And besides that, I'm nearly to the hour mark of this one anyway so see you next time as always thanks for watching and bye